Hello and welcome to 21st Century. I'm Daljit Dhaliwal. Domestic violence is a tragic feature of millions of women's lives. But in Thailand, new efforts are underway to better protect women from violence at the hands of their partners. We follow the story of one young trainee police officer who's dedicated to bringing change. Twenty-two-year-old Pawinawan Sintu Chai, known as Beam, is on her way to a meeting that she wished didn't need to take place. She hopes it will help her do her job better in the future. Beam, a young police cadet out on her field training, has come to hear Tiwa Palipurana's story. A shop owner and now a mother of two teenagers, Tiwa got married in 1992. But after 17 years of marriage, things took an unexpected turn. Her husband had met another woman. Beam is here to strengthen her training in how to handle cases of domestic violence, part of a major new effort by Thai police to fight the abuse. It's the first time that she's meeting a survivor of this abuse face to face. As a senior year cadet at Thailand's prestigious Police Academy for Officers, learning how to combat such violence against women and girls is now an important part of the training. And hearing Tiwa's story confirms for Beam how important it is that as a woman she has chosen this profession. When Tiwa first went to the local police station to report the beatings from her husband, she didn't get the help she hoped for. Tiwa feels strongly that the visit to the police station could and should have had a very different outcome and could have saved her from worse experiences that were to come. And this is one of the main reasons why the Thai police are actively encouraging women like Beam to join the force. And what happened next to Tiwa shows that making allowances for men who act that way with their partners allows the violence to continue. As she begged her husband to leave his lover, things got worse and worse at home, until one night she feared for her life. แล้วก็กดหัวพี่ลงแล้วเท้าก็ทึบกระทึบบดคอพี่ลงกับพื้นแต่พอพอฟังแล้วแบบมันมันรู้สึกว่ามันเจ็บเนาะคือคือแค่
With more women police, they hope that survivors of violence will feel more inclined to report abuse, helping to combat this scourge. Colonel Chuit Kongkyo is in charge of the police station in Chiang Rai, in northern Thailand, where Beam and her fellow student cadet Nan have been sent to do their six weeks hands on training. He's convinced that women have an essential role in confronting domestic violence. ในฐานะคนเพศเดียวกันนะครับบางครั้งปัดแผลซึ่งถูกกระทําภายในภายในล่มผ้านะครับซึ่งตํารวจเนี่ยไม่สามารถตํารวจชายเนี่ยไม่
Beam, who pretends to be a rioter, explains the role of female police, especially when dealing with women among the mobs. It's training that's even more important in the face of unrest on the Thai streets in 2013 and clashes between protesters and the police. In this class, a different type of role play takes place. Run by Beam and Nan, they share their own knowledge with first-year cadets, teaching them how to tackle incidents of domestic violence. It's crucial that both the female and male cadets are sensitive to the plight of women survivors of violence, encouraging better handling of incidents by the country's future police officers. Beam believes that police officers should treat survivors like Tiwa with the compassion they deserve and that all police must have zero tolerance for such abuse. Tiwa's husband was eventually cautioned and warned to stay away from her. Eliminating domestic violence is a huge task, but training the police to contribute to the struggle is a vital step in the right direction. ก็ได้เรียนรู้ว่าความรุนแรงเป็นยังไงอะไรคือความรุนแรงบ้างจากบางอย่างนะคะเราก็มองว่ามันเป็นเป็นเรื่องธรรมดาทั่วไปยิ